Today, boys and girls, we're going to make a beautiful picture of the Northern Lights. Pick up your toothbrush and run your fingers across the bristles. Now let's dip it into the white paint and do that again. Hold the toothbrush down by your paper so that the paint flicks onto the paper creating your stars. When you're all done creating the nighttime sky, wipe your finger off on your messy mat, put the paintbrush in the jacuzzi, and let's learn about the Northern Lights while this part dries. Oh good, it looks like the paint is dry. Let's continue by adding a horizon line down near the bottom of the paper. Grab a piece of scrap paper and tear off one edge to make a lumpy, bumpy side. Lay it somewhere up in the sky. Choose the colors of chalk that you want for your lights and add that to the edge of your scrap paper. Then using one finger, brush up onto your black nighttime sky. This is gonna give us that glowing effect of the northern lights. To add more lights to your picture, tear another edge off of your scrap paper, choose your chalks again, and rub them along the edge of that new line that you've torn. If your finger is dirty, wipe it off on your messy mat, and then brush that chalk up onto the black paper to create another set of northern lights. If you find that you're getting too much chalk dust on your artwork, just tap the side of it on your messy mat, and then you can go back to making more northern lights. Just make sure that you keep them all up above the horizon line. The best places to view the northern lights are up north like Alaska and Canada, where it snows a lot. So let's add some snow-covered mountains to our picture. You can fill it in with the white chalk and then blend it by rubbing your finger over the paper. That will also help fill in the little spaces where your chalk might not be able to get into. This time though, instead of tapping away any extra chalk dust, blend it into the paper and then you can use all of the chalk without wasting any of it. Instead of wiping your finger off on your messy mat, wipe it down below the mountains to create a nice reflection down in the ocean water. Speaking of reflections, we should see some of those northern lights reflected on top of the water surface. So bring some of that color down below the horizon line, but it's not going to be as detailed and sharp as the lights up above in the sky. So you wanna blend or muddy that by rubbing it side to side with your fingers. And finally, to finish our picture, let's add some trees to our snow covered mountains. Dip your brush into the black paint and scribble side to side, getting slightly bigger and bigger as you go down towards the bottom of your tree. You can add as many trees as you want to your mountains, but don't forget, we're also going to need to put the reflection of those trees down into the ocean water. Line up your paintbrush with your tree down in the water and in reverse, go from bigger to smaller to create the reflection. Do this with each of the trees that you create, and then you'll have your completed Northern Lights picture.